Here is a worksheet on rational exponents in the form e to the power of 1 over n. The question is, write in radical form and then evaluate. Now, what is radical form? Let me give you general radical form of an exponent form. When we write a to the power of 1 over n, it is a rational exponent since the exponent here is 1 over n. That means a polynomial over another polynomial. So that's a rational number. Now this rational exponent can also be written in radical form, which is kind of a square root thing which you see always, right? So which is this is that square root thing where a comes here and n is written here. So it is the nth power of a. Okay. So we also see is a to the power of 1 over n is equals to nth power of a, right, in this form, which is called the radical form. So that is the radical form. Now, knowing this, I think you can answer these questions and probably write down the correct answers also. So you can pause the video now, write down your answers, and then look into my suggestions. Now, here is how I will do them. The very first one is 16 to the power of 1 over 2, or 16 to the exponent of half which could be written as square root of 16, right? So that is what is a radical form of 16 to the power of half. Square root 16 is written like I have written here. Normally, whenever you write in the radical form, you write n here. But in case of square root, we do not write 2. It is not a good practice. By default, if nothing is written, we take it as 2, correct? So square root 16 will be written as shown here. Now what is square root 16? 16 could be written as 4 times 4, kind of 4 squared, you see that? So square root of 16 is equal to 4 times 4 square root. Now that is equal to 4. So that is how you can get square root of 16. So initially while you are working on this, I will suggest use calculator to check your answers. And sometimes if we get stuck, use calculator to get the answer and reason out why this answer is like that. That will also help you to understand rational exponents. Okay. Now let's go to the next problem, which is a to the power of 1 over 3. In radical form, I could write this as 8 like this. You see, that 3 has to be very small and kind of close enough to your square root thing, right? So that is in the radical form we can write 8 to the power of 1 over 3 as. Now, now the, this is also called cube root, right? So exponent 1 third or cube root of 8. Now, what is cube root of 8? Cube root of 8 is 2. The reason is, when you multiply 2 times 2 times 2, that means 3 2's in a row, then you get 8, right? Third root really means, just as two roots means, second root means the two numbers, same numbers multiplied together, is kind of 4 square. So square of square root will be the number itself. Now here, cube of cube root is the number itself. So that is kind of the principle which we follow here, right? So this could be written as 2, okay? Now, this example is kind of different we have a negative number here, right? So 27 with a negative sign. Cube root of 27 means we are looking for one number which when multiplied by itself three times gives us minus 27. Well, that number is minus 3. But let me first write this in the radical form. In radical form, I'll write it as minus 27 cube root, correct? That's how it is. Now the number which should be multiplied 3 times itself gives you minus 27 is minus 3. So if you do minus 3 times minus 3, you get plus 9. Times minus 3 will give you minus 27. And therefore, the answer for this is minus 3 itself. The cube root of minus 27 is minus 3. Now let's look into the fourth one which is minus 81 to the power of 1 over 4. You will note here that this is fourth power, right? So let me first write this in the radical form. That is minus 81 and write 4 here, small 4. 
that means 1 over 4 or the fourth power of minus 81. Now you'll notice that if you multiply any two numbers, similar numbers, two times, then the minus times minus gives you positive, right? When you multiply it four times, even then you'll get a positive result. You'll never get negative result when you multiply a number itself four times, right? So here we do not have any solution, right? So this is not real. So no real solution. We say no real solution. Remember, if we have minus and if the exponent is even, then there is no solution. But if exponent is odd, then there is of course a solution. The reason is that if you multiply minus 1 three times, odd number of times, then you get a minus sign. But when you multiply minus even number of times, then you get positive. So you can never get negative result when you multiply negative 1 by itself even number of times. So that is the re reason why whenever you have exponent which is even in nature, then the negative integer will not give you any result. So we say it does not have any real solution. I hope you understand how I did all these. Now these are your practice questions, four of them minus 4 square root. You, you have to first write in the square root terms minus 27 cube root minus 1000 to the power of 1 over 3 and here you'll notice minus is outside 1024 to the power of 1 over 10. So basically in this let me tell you you have to write it like this 1024th 10th root do you understand not minus 10th so minus is outside so you'll get a real number as an answer here right and the answer is two in this case with a minus sign. Now in this case minus and this is odd power so you should get an answer and it should be you can guess what. Now here 27 cube root since it is odd number for a negative number we will get an answer which will be kind of like this right it's kind of repeated for you okay here we have minus 4 to the power of half now minus and this is even power so you should not expect any real answer for this. In any case, try to do them all and see it for yourself. Do you understand the concept or not? Let's move on to another example. Thank you.